what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're taking a look at how to fix outlook not sending or receiving emails so no matter what version of outlook you're running i'm using the outlook 2019 but if you're using older versions you can still use these methods to try and troubleshoot and fix uh, the not sending or receiving emails in outlook so take a look you can see here i'm clicking on send and receive and no emails are coming in to my inbox and i know there's emails available for me but they're just not coming in so what can cause this well there's a bunch of different things that can cause this corrupt email profiles can cause this or having too many email profiles bad email rules that you've got set up maybe outlook is set to work offline that's another a thing that can happen no internet connection or intermittent internet issues uh the wrong uh, username and password you're using or junk email settings are causing this problem could be uh firewall settings or just server settings that you've got set up wrong so let's go through and take a look at account settings first and we'll go inside here and we'll double click on the account that we're using here and you can check all your uh, credentials inside here to make sure they are correct and if they're not correct then you'll need to uh, change those and make sure that you are basically connecting to the server so you can receive your emails and send emails so let's take a look at how we can uh, correct those so go to the account settings here inside here we're going to go and click on this come down to where it says server settings Inside server settings, when you click on this, it's going to allow you to change up some of your settings here. You'll see uh, username and password is here. And we've also got server, which is the server you're connecting to, and your port here, and the encryption method as well. But then you can also change this much more easier in another area, which I'll show you uh, right now. But basically, this is where you can see your settings here, your account settings, and this is using IMAP depending on what yours is using. But I'll show you basically how you can uh, update this and change it here. So that's one way of going about doing that. So while we're here, might as well just check the junk mail settings. To go to junk mail here, you'll see junk and uh, click on this one and go down junk email options. Click on this. And basically what you're looking for here is the settings that you've got this set to, the options. Now, if you've got this set to a far too aggressive uh, setting here it's not going to allow you to receive certain emails and it could block you so be very careful and these can also put them in different folders as well so you've got to be careful how you set this up and you can see here we've got low which is moved the most obvious junk email to a junk email folder and then you've got no automation uh, filter there and then we've got safe senders safe re uh, recipients and also blocked senders Make sure that no one is blocked in there that you're trying to receive emails from because if they are then you're not going to be able to receive any emails from that person so you can turn this filter off if you wish and if you've got a bunch of other filters try and removing some and resetting these just to make sure uh, that everything is okay there so let's go down to the search box here and then go to control panel so i'm going to type control panel here and click on this and this will open up the control panel. Make sure we're in the large icons here. You can see that up the top right hand side. And what we're looking for is Mail, which is Mail, Mail Microsoft Outlook. Click on this one here. This will open up another box and you'll see email accounts. And you can click on this and this will open up this box here. And uh, when you go on here, you should see your email account. If you click on change here, this will allow you to get access to your account from here you can set up your outgoing mail server and your incoming mail server your your name your email address and your password and all of that other good stuff here you need to make sure that this is correct otherwise you could be in problems for receiving or sending email you can click on more settings here and check the outgoing server settings and also inside of advanced incoming server which is uh, here which is 993 and here we've got outgoing SMTP 465 make sure they're set to the right settings because if they're not you're not going to be able to receive email or send email because that's incoming and outgoing so make sure that's set to the right settings for your uh, email uh, provider 
You can also see here we can test our account here to make sure that it's working correctly by testing our settings. And you can see it's been completed and it's sending a, a test email. And this is how you can basically send a test email to your client to make sure it's working correctly. So it's always good to test that there. And you can go through here and it'll automatically test as you can see as well. So that's basically how you can test your account to make sure it's functioning right. And it says you're all set, everything's working well. Okay, so let's move on to another area, which is another common problem, which causes issues, which is the rules and alerts area. So go back into your account settings here where you can see rules and alerts here. And you wanna make sure that the rules are not set to block anything here, because if you've got these set up, sometimes you can have quite complex rules set up and if you've got them set up for a certain domain or something like that, that someone is trying to send emails to you, you might not receive those. So go inside here and remove the ones that are causing any problems. You can see there's no rules set up on this account here. But if it was, you just want to make sure it's not restricting any email addresses that you're trying to receive email from, okay, or send emails from. So next we're going to check out our account profiles so go to account settings manage profiles and should see a mail setup outlook here and you've got profiles and email accounts first we'll show the profiles here you can have up a maximum of 20 accounts on there here now if you've got old dead accounts and old profiles that you've got you can remove them from here and uh, you just want to click on the ones that you don't use anymore and remove those because they can conflict and cause problems after a while so just remove uh, some of those uh, from the list there and uh, you can also add new ones here now we'll go back into here again I just want to show the other area so go account settings manage profiles and we're going to go into email accounts this time inside here you'll see your email accounts here now if you've got a load of email accounts that you're not using anymore remove all of those because you don't need them anymore just click on them and remove them here because that can cause problems as well. And just uh, highlight the ones you're not using. And sometimes that can uh, help um, fix a lot of issues. Okay, so let's move on to another thing that we can check here. So open up your email client, go to send and receive here. And where it says send and receive groups, you should see it in the list below here. Just go down to that list and drag that down. And you should see disabled uh, scheduled uh, send and receive. Make sure the tick is not in there. Click on defined receive groups here and just make sure that you've got this set right. Now, by default, you should have include this group in send and receive. And you should also have schedule a automatic send and receive entry five minutes. I've got that set to 30 minutes. I've changed that to five minutes, but make sure the ticks in the first two boxes here. And you've also got when Outlook is offline as well down below you can set that to whatever time you like there but just make sure they are ticked by default they are but sometimes you can make a mistake and actually click those off by accident you can already see emails are starting to come in test emails that i've done also work offline just make sure you're not in work offline mode if you are you are not going to be able to receive emails like that now sometimes i find by clicking work offline and then clicking it again it then synchronizes and then emails start to come in again. And I find that that sometimes can resolve an issue as well. I've tried that before and it works fine. So that's another thing that you can try. So let's move on to some other things that we can try to try and resolve this issue. So let's go back down to the start button here, a right click and go run. And we're going to paste in this command here. This is going to clear out all the cache here. So basically click OK here. I'll leave this in the video description. A box should open up here. So just wait till that opens up. There we go. And you should see Rome cache inside here. You can see all of these and I'm going to delete these and remove these. And sometimes by removing those and then restarting, it does resolve issues. So we'll just delete those and reopen our outlook and let that repopulate. And go back to that location now and you should see that they have uh, been repopulated for you that won't delete any emails or anything like that it's just the cache uh, files here so let's go back into that location here you should see they've been re uh, redone here so let's move on to another possible fix here sometimes your 
profile gets corrupted and you can try to repair it but sometimes just creating a new profile does resolve this so go back into your email client go to info and then account settings and then uh, your profiles here show profiles and then once you're inside here you can add a new profile click in add and then you can put in the name and then basically once you put in a name uh, you can then just set up your account you will need some details for your uh, email account here so you're going to need some of them details so if you've got those to hand just put those in and create a new profile and hopefully that resolves your problem and you can back up and transfer all your emails into there once you've got your profile set up okay so let's move on to another possible fix here go into your account information info options inside here go to mail and just check inside here make sure all of your mail settings are correct and just check inside here for your send messages here and also we have got inside here uh, advanced options here which is another area where you can check here which is uh, send and receive just make sure you've got the tick in send immediately when connected and uh, just make sure that's set and you can check these settings here and you can see that accounts are working offline and online and just make sure all of this is set right here and one last thing here just close this off and just underneath where it says send and receive groups here just make sure the tick is not putting disabled uh, scheduled items to be sent and stuff like that here if that is then remove the tick anyway i think that's going to be about it that's basically how you can fix outlook is not sending or receiving any sort of emails in outlook 2019 or newer or older versions you can try those methods and hopefully that will resolve your issue just want to say a big special thanks to all the people who have joined my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.